Israel and Hamas have reached a deal in which around 50 hostages being held by Hamas will be released to Israel, according to multiple reports, while fighting will pause for four days, marking the first major agreement between the two sides since Hamas' October 7 attack. Israel suggested a pause in fighting could continue beyond four days, saying in a statement, the release of every additional 10 hostages will result in one additional day in the pause, according to The Guardian. The war continues. The war will continue until we achieve all of our goals. To eliminate Hamas, to return all our hostages, to ensure that the day after Hamas, Gaza will no longer be a threat to Israel, Netanyahu said Tuesday before one of the meetings to approve the deal, CNN reported. More than 240. That's how many hostages have been held by Hamas since October 7. Over the last six weeks of fighting, Hamas has released just four hostages back to Israel, including a mother and daughter and two elderly Israeli women, and Israel freed one hostage during a ground operation. According to the Israeli Defense Forces, at least two hostages held by Hamas, 65-year-old Yehudit Weiss and 19-year-old soldier Noah Marciano, have been found dead. Weiss was discovered last week near Al-Shifa Hospital, which has been a major battleground over the last week. Hamas claimed Marciano died in an Israeli airstrike on November 9, according to the BBC. Getting hostages returned who were taken in the October 7 Hamas attack on Israel has been a priority of Israel and the U.S. of the approximately 240. It's estimated that about 10 hostages are Americans, according to ABC News, including a three-year-old toddler who is believed to be the youngest American held. Over the weekend, U.S. officials said negotiations between Israel, Hamas and the U.S. were closer than they had been perhaps at any point, and leaders from Hamas and Qatar both made similar claims Tuesday. Israel has also faced increasing calls from international leaders for a ceasefire as the death toll in Gaza has continued drastically rising. Netanyahu and other Israeli leaders had previously signified they were open to a multi-day pause, according to the Washington Post but continued to say they wouldn't agree to a ceasefire unless all hostages were released. As of Tuesday, the Hamas-run health ministry estimated more than 13,000 people have died since the conflict began. In Israel, an estimated 1,200 have died, the majority of whom were killed in the initial Hamas attack.